What is up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And today, we are going to talk about this nasty market as we see the Bitcoin price <laughs> dropping out of the sky <laughs> like Duck Hunt with the traditional, uh, what was that video game? Um, the Nintendo video game. So right now, Bitcoin is being shot out of the sky like Duck Hunt. And I'm going to let you know where I believe the price is going to go. Also, in this video, I'm going to explain to you why the price is dropping. And yes, it has to do loosely with the ETF and one other key factor. I'll explain that. Then... I'm going to give you clarity, especially you folks who had your feelings hurt in that last video when I was talking about the supposed phrase how that uh, cryptocurrency represents the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind. I always troll that statement, but I'm going to give you clarity on that last video as far as my beliefs of the effects of the Bitcoin ETF approval. Stick with me. We're all going to be on the same page. We're all going to agree. I'm not the villain. And when I explain, you're going to find out that we probably share the same opinion. And then you will be happy to know why you are a special person and not one of the dodo birds out there who thinks that everyone is going to get rich from cryptocurrency. Last but not least, I'm going to give you a bonus little tip. Something I mentioned and discussed in a previous video about why cryptocurrency will never replace the U.S. dollar. And I'm only going to give you one, one reason why that will never happen. Okay, well, let's just start it off with, of course, the advice that this absolutely is not financial advice. If you are dumb enough to take this as financial advice, you could end up as a bum, a big, fat, homeless bum living on the side of the river, digging through a box of garbage for free government Jeez! <laughs> okay, that was a little over the top. I don't know why you would be fat if you were homeless and you were digging out of a box for your free government cheese. You probably won't be fat. You'll be skinny. In the old days, in the 1800s, to be fat was be, to be considered rich because you could eat whatever you wanted. And now uh, we've flipped that up because of the horrible food supply in the United States. Let's get to the point. Bitcoin, the price is dropping. We're going to look at the chart, but first we're going to talk about why it's dropping. And then we're going to look at the obvious signal, the obvious clues that the chart is giving us as to where it's going to be going. So everyone got their panties in a bunch because the Bitcoin ETF was supposed to send it to the moon. And we were going to get rich overnight as BlackRock would spend billions and billions of dollars <laughs> going in headfirst buying Bitcoin. And in the last video, I trolled a lot of you who seemed to think that it would be just as easy as that, that BlackRock and all the investment firms that comprise of the member banks of the Federal Reserve would just dive in head first, drive Bitcoin straight up to 500,000 overnight, and we'd all get rich right along with them. It's silly enough that uh, we think we can get rich on Bitcoin easily, but it's even sillier to think that we can ride on the coattails of BlackRock where all of us will end up rich. We can't all be rich because all we're doing is trading. You're buying on Bitcoin right now based on your belief that there will be some foolish people in the future that will buy it back from you at a higher price because it's running out. Because we'll be nearing the 21 million limit, right? But if everybody buys it, who are you going to sell it to? <laughs> 
Gee, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to get more into that later, but let me stop the trolling. Let me be positive here. First, the ETF is a positive thing. It's just going to take a long time. And what's going to be difficult is they're not going to give you the playbook. BlackRock and Jamie Dimon and, you know, uh, JP Morgan and all those crooked people, they're not going to hand you over the playbook of how they're going to accumulate all the Bitcoin so that they can sell those ETFs to people. Okay? That's as yet to be determined. And let me clarify, I was not making a point that people who buy Bitcoin ETFs are stupid. I never made that point. It came up in the comments. I don't know where you got that from. My point was just that the Bitcoin price is not going to soar to the moon based on the ETF approval like everyone thought it would because the masses were polarized and we all bought into the news instead of the facts, which is buying and selling that produces a chart. Okay, We bought into the hype and there's a lot of selling into that hype. Well, the selling is coming from one major place. And this is the primary reason you are seeing Bitcoin go down. That would be the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC. In the depths of the bear market and after the crash of FTX, we saw GBDC at about $8 per share. I was considering buying the GBTC product because at that exact time, it was being sold at a 50% discount. I'm trying to pull up the chart, but it no longer comes up because I think they're converting it to a regular ETF. So I cannot look back and tell you the history of what was going on with the GBTC price action. However, from my memory, I knew that when Bitcoin was at 15 or 16,000, GBTC was selling for $8 a share. It should have been at $16 a share. So when people were buying at $8 a share, they were basically buying at a 50% discount. There was a lot of buying that went on and it continued to be purchased at a discount for, it was either months or years, maybe a year, maybe more. There was a whole lot of buying that went on. Well, guess what? The GBTC value caught up with the BTC price and it was no longer being sold at a discount, which means those who loaded up on GBTC shares at the 50% discount could now unload and make a very handsome profit, doubling their investment. <clears throat> now, when these people are buying in of GBTC, they're buying in hard. They're getting hundreds of millions, if not billions, and the liquidity is there to sell out. That's why just getting a 100% return on your investment is a great thing with GBTC because you can unload it in the hundreds of millions. Now, I won't give you the numbers. I would have to look it up again, but I do believe right now that the selling pressure of GBTC is the largest block of selling going on for Bitcoin right now today. The buying pressure still is ahead of selling pressure for BTC, but the market equilibrium is being swung bearish because of the large amount of GBTC being sold where people are taking their profits. And this could continue on for a while. It could go on for a few weeks. It could go on for a few months. We don't know yet. It could certainly bring the price down another 10, 20% or more. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you what it's going to be. What I can tell you is what the chart is saying. I won't promise you that I know how much GBTC selling will continue. And I know that people look on YouTube because they want to know where the exact price is of where Bitcoin is going to moon to or go down to. I know a lot of people are here for that. 
There's a lot of people that look for other big mouths on YouTube to tell them exactly what the price of BTC is going to be. And those big mouths give you those prices. And they're wrong for doing it. I don't have a million followers on YouTube. I don't have 100,000. I only have 8,000 and change. And the reason is, is that I have a soul. I have a conscious. And I know that anyone who's giving you exact prices of where BTC is going to go or telling you that they are absolutely sure it's going to go up or down, they're lying to you because they want to make money from monetizing their YouTube accounts. I can't sleep at night doing that. So I'm just going to tell you what the probabilities are and what the charts tell us today. And at the same time, I'm going to tell you that it could get flipped upside down on a moment's notice. If you don't like that, then go listen to the big mouths. Let them lie to you. Pay them the whatever <laughs> people out there charging 20, 50, 100, $500 a month so they can be lied to and told what the price of Bitcoin is going to be. Go pay them the money. Or you can stay here and let me tell you the truth for free. All right. Let's go look at the chart. <clears throat> okay. Transition, please. Here we are. I don't need to draw any arrows. I'm going to keep it simple. And I'm just going to tell you right here and right now that we're looking at a rollover. Do you see this right here? You see all that red? We've got a green candle red, green candle red, green candle red, candle red, double red. And then we have a rollover of the stochastic. And then we have an impending crossover of the oscillators on the MACD while we're also approaching the zero line right there, printing light green bars on the histogram. This is on the one week chart. We don't have to get fancy. I'm not going through the four hour and the one day. Forget all that. <coughs> you can see it right here. We've rolled over. What do we always talk about? Peaks and troughs. Peaks and troughs. That's all we ever talk about. So let's look at these peaks and troughs. Why can't I move this thing here? Okay, let's delete this one. Let's delete this one. And let's use this one. So let's see these peaks. They coincide with a peak price. Peak, peak price. Trough, market bottom. Peak, peak price. Now we're going to go down. We're going to cycle down. That's what happens next. So when this rolls over, if we get the stochastic to go all the way down, down to the bottom, we're going to find some of these nodes here. What are the nodes? Well, we're below the current node of 43,000, so we're bearish. Slipping. You slipping, dog. <laughs> 38,000 is the next node. 38, 37K could be the bottom. If that doesn't hold, we're headed for the black dash line. And there's a big fat volume node above that black dash line somewhere around 30K. Now, sure, you got a node down here at 21,000, but I'm not going to sit here and lie you and say that Bitcoin's crashing at 21,000 because I don't think it's probable. Most probable is maybe stopping off at 37K. Next probability is 30K. And in, in, in the entire market's looking bearish right now, which I love because that means... We can start making plans for the stuff we want to stack up when we get to these low points. No, I'm not going to be buying Bitcoin. I buy alts. I like stuff that goes up 10x in a matter of weeks or months. You know me. I'm the Casper guy. I bought Casper at point zero zero four. Right now, it's sitting at 10 cents. It's been as high as, what, 15 cents? So my little $400 investment is worth $10,000. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff I like to do. And that happened in one year and a few months. And it's going places. All right. So anyway, this tells us where the Bitcoin price is going. And if you want for grits and shins, let's look at the month chart. What do you see on this ugly one month chart? You see a red candle and a peak about to flip over. Why? crossover, stochastic, major peak. Even though the MACD is still on the rise, it's about to roll over. So you had a major run up to this peak, double peak, major roll down to the bottom, coinciding with that stochastic bottom and a major run up to the stochastic peak. What do you think is coming next? It's going to be a correction before the bull market starts. 
We might be in the bull market overall, but when the bull run starts, we're going to have a correction before that. Happens all the time. Happens all the time. Happened in the last two markets, and this is the third one I've been involved in crypto alone. I won't be fooled. Now, I've been trading since 1999, since before some of you were born. I was doing penny stocks and small cap NASDAQ stocks making a fortune where I'd buy stuff and be out of positions within a week to a few months. And I got away from it. And then I came back to crypto in 2017. So this is the third bull market I'm coming upon. And now I've got my feet on solid ground and I've learned several lessons. I won't make the same mistakes that I did in the first bull run and the second bull run. One of the biggest mistakes I made was selling Doge at 0 0.0035. That's not going to happen again. Well, anyway, enough of that. That This we see where Bitcoin is going. You see that? Okay, join me back on the desktop or just for the regular set. Transition, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, the last point, the bonus point, and then I have an announcement. If you hang in long enough, I have an announcement. Final bonus point and then the announcement. Why the U.S. dollar will never be replaced by cryptocurrency. Any of you out there who really think that Bitcoin is going to uh, put all the power in the hands of the people and dethrone the government and we'll be in control, you're smoking crack. You know why? Bitcoin is deflationary. The U.S. dollar is inflationary. You need inflationary in order to have a society that functions and improves. What do I mean by that? Well, here's how it works, kids. You like driving on roads without potholes, right? Yeah. You like driving on bridges that don't fall, right? You like improvement technology, right? You like your water systems and your water main to work correctly and to bring you fresh water, right? You like infrastructure. Well, the way infrastructure improves and continues... It costs money. Where does that money come from? No, it doesn't come from you paying taxes. You paying taxes and the IRS is just to bully you and to keep you as a slave working and to keep the value of the dollar in your mind, of the made-up dollar that is magic money, magic miracle money out of thin air, just like Bitcoin, is to place value on it. The way your roads keep from potholing to death, the way you continue to have improvements in infrastructure and education and health care and everything else is because the government prints money and they dole it out. When your little congressman and your little senator goes to Capitol Hill and they pass big bills, they put on what is called an earmark. And so my senator will make an earmark for Jefferson City, Missouri, and he'll say, hey, throw in an extra $500,000 for Jeff City because we need some road improvement projects. That's how that works. So that printed fake magical money gets filtered down to the states. Now, generally, um, infrastructure is paid for by money that is created as bills are passed and in the budget. But then the earmarks come in and help with these small projects in your little hometowns. And you benefit from magic earmark money that comes out of nowhere. You get raises every day to keep up with inflation, even though it doesn't keep up. And stuff gets done because they print the money to pay for it. Now, if we had deflationary money, technology would halt. You wouldn't have the next new iPhone every year being developed. I wouldn't get to have the next Samsung Galaxy Galactic Note. Uh, special 24 this is the 23 I don't even know the names anymore technology would grind to a halt roads wouldn't get done and people would sit on their money because are people spending bitcoin to go to the grocery store no it's a store of value they sit on it and so as money is not being created out of thin air with bitcoin it becomes more and more scarce when money becomes more and more scarce, people spend less. When they spend less, less tax revenue is collected. When less tax revenue is collected, you won't have the money to fill up the potholes in your roads. And that's why the U.S. dollar, you're going to keep on loving it like McDonald's because they fill up the potholes in your roads and keep your infrastructure going. 
Yes, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency will give us some power. Yes, it will. I'm not saying it won't. I'm, of course, the crypto pro. I'm a proponent of cryptocurrency. So before you get all butthurt and going off in the comments, that's not what I mean. Cryptocurrency will help to empower the smart people like me and you. If you're watching this video, you're one of the smart ones. Many people aren't smart. 95% of the population ain't smart. And they don't hold cryptocurrency or own Bitcoin or understand what its greatest value is, which is a hedge against inflation and the printing of money. If Bitcoin goes to 500000 or a million dollars, most people will be so poor they won't be able to afford a carton of eggs at the grocery store. But you Bitcoiners will be able to trade that back in for USD and afford to buy eggs because it's keeping up with the rate of inflation. As the rate of inflation goes up, so does the price of Bitcoin. You might not be buying Lambos, but you'll be able to afford to get as many eggs as you want at the grocery store, whereas the dumb people who don't understand crypto and have not invested in the stock market have no hedge against inflation and the decimation of the U.S. dollar. I've said a lot, and that's a lot to think about. And I'm sure somebody's going to get upset and butthurt in the comments, but watch the video again. And please understand, I'm a proponent of cryptocurrency. And when I say that the greatest transfer of wealth in human history is a big fat lie, it doesn't mean you can't be one of the few smart ones that benefits. What I'm telling you is 95% of people are too stupid. And then the rich people are going to remain rich because they're not going to hand over their power. And as long as those big investment firms who comprise the member banks of the Federal Reserve, as long as they're connected to U.S. government, and as long as you're voting at the voter booth and putting politicians in office, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> they're not giving up their power. They're not going to be the paupers and the ones eating out of the trash can living out of a box on the side of the river, subsiding on government cheese. It's not going to flip-flop. What was that movie by Eddie Murphy uh, where he was a homeless bum and he, he became rich and then the two rich investors became the homeless bums? Uh, trading Places. Go watch the movie. Everyone seems to think that the general public is going to follow the same pathway as Eddie Murphy on Trading Places. It's not going to happen. Oh, let me know if you get it. Are you enlightened? Do you get it? I know the ride or die guys, my OGs are going to get it. You know who you are. If you're an OG, you know who you are. Yay! The crypto OGs get it. But if you don't get it, you don't get it. But let me know if you do. Are you learning? Are you coming along? Were you upset with the last video, but now you understand what I'm saying on this video? Hopefully so. Now here's your bonus announcement. I have been digging up small cap, micro cap gems. I have developed a new process where I can now find them at will. I found so many, you wouldn't believe it. I'm going to be doing some videos very soon for free and then announcing finally the club, the member club, where you can pay me to be in the club and get all of my work that I'm doing. And it's going to be better than anything else that you've ever seen out there where people are paying a million dollars a month for one sneak pick and knowing when to buy and sell, which I guess if that's the way you want to spend your money, you can. I want to give you a pile of stuff and give you a lot better value. And I want to work for you. It's a job for me because I spend hours a day on this. And so you're basically hiring me. But I am going to give you some freebies. I'm going to give you a video on Grok very soon, an update, because we're at the bottom of the strike zone that I gave you that I told you to wait for it. Now we're there. I'm also going to give you a video on what to do if you missed out on my row. There's something very easy you can do purchasing another project that a lot of people are dogging out. But if you look at the chart, you will know that you can flip this other project and then roll that back into my row and you'll be right on track. And then I'm going to do you another video for those of you who missed out on CASPA. There's another project out there that a lot of people dog that is legitimate. And I'm going to tell you what, it's about to fall into a sweet spot, a low, low price where you might be able to buy it at the price I bought, Caspa, from the beginning. So if you're one of the lucky ones and you watched all the way through posting in the comments, I'm an OG, I made it to the end. Yay! And you got your bonus 
information. It's coming very soon. Hit me up in the comments, bug me, and make sure that I follow through and produce for you the free videos that I promise. And other than that, I would really love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to the Crypto Pro channel. And if you would like to help to uh, support me in defraying of the expensive costs of producing the channel, you may do so with the giving us of a super thanks. And I thank you in advance. By the way, all of my super thanks donation givers of the past, something special is coming. I need you all to check in to the Crypto Pro Telegram channel so I can make sure I have your emails. There's something special just for you. And you'll be glad when you hear what it is. All right, my peoples, that is all uh, that I basically have for now. This is Carlton, and I am out.